I am Natalie DeBarto, reporting for RMU Century Media. I'm standing outside at the brand new Wheatley Center where the grand opening is underway. Hi, I'm here with President Delomo. I wanted to ask you a few questions on how you're enjoying your night. Sure. It's a wonderful evening. Whenever you can open a new building like this and see all the faculty and the students and the donors and the board members and the friends of the university, really experience it for the first time, it has to be a lot of We really are having a good time. What kind of work went into putting up the New School of Communication? Actually, a lot of work because um, you know, when we decided to move our students from downtown to the Media Arts Program back to campus, we had a bunch of space for them. And we were looking at various options and some of them were getting too expensive. This was, as, as you may know, was a conversion of another building, much smaller building. And economically, design-wise, uh, utility-wise, it really worked out very, very nicely. It took a lot of time, energy, thought, fundraising. Got the input to really make it become a top teaching and research center for school communities. Great. How do you think this One new second. building will change the learning experience for students? Well, I think it's a couple of options. You know, all the classrooms, the labs, the kinds of things that they teach in this in this school are, are, are available here and really state of the art. So, from that standpoint, technically, it's a very strong building. One of the things I think it's most important about this building is for the first time all of our students and faculty in the School of Communication and Computer Systems are here in one location. So you can develop a lot of synergies and hopefully maybe cross-discipline types of programs. Plus, students can spend a lot of time in this building, particularly when you're on the media arts side, the graphic design side. Those kinds of students really require a lot of lab work that goes well beyond class time and this becomes their home as well as their the classroom. Do you have a favorite spot in the building? Oh wow, um, that's a good question because I, I I like the building completely because it's so different than the School of Business which we opened up last year, but it's a very different purpose, very different look and very very different feel to it. Um, I have to say, the, the part that surprised me the most was the cafe. Uh, that was something that was a, a late design and I had really not seen any designs previously. I knew it was a good sized space but I also want to make it something that would be attractive for students and faculty and staff to really spend time there as well as just get something to eat. And I saw it for the first time yesterday and I was blown away. It's really, I think uh, it's going to be a, an attraction on campus that's going to draw people from all over the campus, not just the students and faculty. So I think that, that has the most wow factor to it that I, I, I was surprised by and very pleased by. It. I'm here in the brand new Wheatley Cafe, which was just finished yesterday. Students can dine in here in between their classes. I'm here with Professor Doris Short. How are you doing tonight, Doris? Oh, I'm doing really well. I'm very excited about this opening. Great. So how do you like the building so far? Well, you know, compared to downtown, this is such a different space. I think when people's going to walk in here, they're going to feel so different. And I know that already because I've already been teaching for three weeks. It's a really a different, you can say, environment. I'm here with Heather Pinson, head of the communications department. How are you enjoying your night so far? Oh my heavens, everyone should be here. It is a fabulous night. Great turnout, great food, we have a great time. So how are you enjoying the new building? The new building is luscious. It's all this great light that's coming through. We're really excited about it because you can see all the different turns and twirls of the building. Um, the faculty are super pumped. We've been sneaking in here late at night when no one knows that we're in here, but we've been sneaking in here since as far as we can remember. So it's great to be here legally. <laughs> How do you think this new building will change the way you're able to teach students? Teaching, uh, it, it basically gives us the services and the facilities to do that well. Um, you know, I can teach a good class in a barn if need be. However, I won't be able to teach effectively in a barn. So, although the, the prowess and the, and the technical facilities determines the classroom, the good teacher needs to be given the right tools. So, we have the right tools in this building and this space. Um, so now, it's all magical. It's coming together. It's coming to place. So, we're loving it. I'm here with Dr. Crowley. How are you enjoying your evening tonight? I am having an incredible evening. That's fantastic. So, how do you like the new building so far? I haven't actually found words to quite describe how I feel about it. Uh, my office is on the third floor, and it probably will help to share that for the first time ever in my career, I have been at work every day by 7 a.m. <laughs> I am so excited to be in this space that um, it's just undescribable.